Okay, this should be interesting. Uh, I'm using Arch Linux uh, and uh, the GNOME 3.10 that's still in the, the testing repository. And I'm installing this uh, through Basic Wine. So if I hover to here, you can see uh, in the terminal um, what's going on in the background. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm following uh, the wiki in Arch Linux and it, as it says here this article was out of date and I, I didn't read the why this about the discussion but so far so good uh, Pac-Man wine I already have that uh, install well I installed it from the, uh, the clients that you download let's see downloads this one to be sure and uh, as usual, you log into your account or create one on uh, battle.net. And uh, if it's not activated, uh, activate it or say it's I've already activated. And uh, the rest here is uh, you should get uh, wine underscore gecko Pac Man. The rest uh, I don't need to copy because I don't have the CDs. Um, Patches that uh, you can get them, but again, I'm not sure with the automatic installer. Uh, using OpenGL, they give you some uh, tips on that and windowing and sound. So we'll see performance tweaks, something for NVIDIA users, and uh, so on. So just as an experiment, uh, we'll see it's downloading, half decent speed. Uh, pretty much my uh, maximum internet connection. It says I can play it. Um, so I'm going to pause this and uh, see what happens. Okay, so I've uh, uh, exited the uh, Wine uh, installation of uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, just a couple of things I want to mention is uh, to uh, resume it, uh, I have that in my download folder. You can right click and select open wine, but I prefer to open a terminal and I'll just do an ls and just copy that and just type in wine and then here I'll right click whoops I'll right click and put in uh, I'll just paste that in so I can get a better idea what's going on in the background and then the client should uh, open as it just did and it's at 52 or so 52 and a half percent so still quite a ways to go for uh, optimal but it's getting there as you can see here it's a uh, again doing this stuff in the background I'll minimize this I also made a shortcut uh, to the wine directory and it's programs uh, 86 <coughs> and here you can uh, launch it uh, with the program loader as well while this is still sorry while this is running in the background okay and I uh, made a really short uh, clip which is uh, using GLC which is uh, five gigs <laughs> it's only about a minute and a half long and uh, you can edit that down so there wasn't any audio um, I couldn't get the audio to come out, but that might be a good thing anyway in the long run. So I'll try to mix this in, and I'll show you a short clip. It's on very on, everything's on low graphics, and uh, I don't want to um, stress it out until the, the this is pretty much downloaded. All right. So <clears throat> as I said, I made a video uh, using uh, GLC, and uh, I'll put the commands up and uh, or so a link to them at least uh, so you can try this out um, and as I mentioned there's no in-game sound um, which is probably a good thing because uh, some publishers don't like uh, you uh, posting the music so such as it is and uh, it's loading right now obviously it doesn't take too too much longer it gets better every time so as I said the graphics are set Everything is low. Um, in a second here, I'll I'll open the uh, 
settings menu and take a look here there's no cursor either it's not showing up system uh, it's, everything as I said is low and the resolution is uh, at my resolution on 1920 by 1080 so it's working and it's still as as I was recording this it was still downloading um, in the background so you can play it it is playable um, I've never played this in Windows so I'm not sure um, how much you can crank the graphics up uh, in Linux and I don't know how much better it looks probably a lot better I imagine but uh, this gives you an idea um, Arch Linux is uh, pretty powerful um, to doing these kinds of things so finally it's uh, World of Warcraft has finished downloading and is updated as it says here and it's ready to play and uh, I still have the running uh, the terminal in the background and I just wanted to show you that when you close this you should wait a little bit uh, for it to uh, exit uh, its task to shut down and then when you see once it comes up there we go when you see read bytes and whatever here it's safe enough just to close the terminal and uh, that's it and uh, I did manage to uh, record the game uh, with sound full screen uh, using a simple screen recorder and uh, I'll uh, step through that in um, in the next section so this is uh, I had to make some screenshots of uh, simple screen recorder. If you don't have that installed, you know, just open the terminal, and it's a it's Yower, and it's just simple screen recorder. And make sure you have both of these installed. Uh, the Lib32 simple screen recorder and simple screen recorder itself okay all right so this is the start screen and you just obviously select continue now the main part that uh, finally worked for me for the audio was to record the microphone of course back end was pulse audio interesting enough and have this set to monitor monitor of built-in and audio analog stereo so it's not recording from the microphone but it's instructing it to record from what it basically what you hear so the game and you have more than one screen just select one screen and your resolution uh, the rest I left the same and I chose to use MKV container and video is H264 um, audio codec mp3 and 128 uh, kilobit and then uh, <clears throat> that's it you just uh, hit start recording and then open uh, World of Warcraft and uh, let it run in the background um, and then when you're finished uh, with the game uh, and exit uh, just come back to this screen and uh, s select pause recording and then hit save recording and depending on where you output it to in my case I put it in the videos as output MKV um, you should be able to play it with uh, whatever player you're using such as VLC or M player with sound hopefully <laughs> it is it is kind of funny to get working um, especially uh, for uh, AMD cards it can be a little frustrating in the video but this is full screen video as you saw before in uh, um, full screen video as you saw before and uh, with uh, this time sound the one I recorded I might upload another recording onto this just to uh, do demonstrate that it 
does have audio on it. And you should also get the uh, Lib32 um, backend for the ALSA and the ALSA plugin. Uh, just go on the Arch Lineage uh, wiki and search uh, for Pulse Audio and go down to uh, ALSA and I'll show you, point you to where you can get those. But they're through Pac Man. Okay, um, I managed to make another video. I kept it as short as possible. Uh, so, I won't talk too much. Uh, just uh, tried ultra quality and then uh, enabled the, the frames per second uh, by binding the Alt and R key. And that's about it. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, this has just been kind of an experiment, a kind of fun thing. So, anyway, enjoy the video. And bye for now. What now? Watch your back. Isn't ready? Oh.